Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Primitive Gatherings and guess where we are today? We are in the gathering because we have something super cool for you today. We have Debbie Maddie here teaching us wonderful indigo dyeing and I can't wait to show off all the cool stuff that we've been doing. But like always, we have a little bit of shop news that I have to go through first. And this is good because while you're all jumping on or whatever you're doing, uh, make sure you say hi. We do have prizes again. I'll go through the prizes. Um, Jelly roll from Debbie Maddie. Charm pack. <laughs> <laughs> I've been staying up pretty late and all of a sudden I, my mind doesn't work. We have a couple thread bowls here. How many of them are we giving away? Two. two. All right. Two of those. And those are our prizes for today. Um, so make sure you're commenting because Jess picks winners all the way throughout. It's not just at that time when I say pick a winner. She's probably got it already uh, waiting for me to um, to say, OK, who's the winner? So again, some shop news. Address changes for addresses or subscription box changes all have to be called into the shop. You can't do that by an email or change your credit card. We want you to call in and talk to us for those certain things. And do we have a number for that? Our um, store number 920-722-7233. And you want to talk to Judy H. She is our customer service person and she will help you with any of that. Especially, like I said, those credit card um we don't want you putting your credit card on an email. So please call us with that. And then we still are not able to ship to Australia or New Zealand. They just ship it right back to us if we do if we do somehow let it go or try to sneak one out. They do return it back to us. And then we also want to let you know that Starlight Gatherings has been delayed until 122. So don't look for the blue and white line until after the first of the year. So that has been pushed back. Also, We've had some copy issues. We're waiting for a part for our copier. We, we can print and we could do some things, but some of the parts like folding and doing some stuff like that, we're waiting for some part. Um, so we have not been able to um, ship out our hexes for heroes yet. So if you're waiting for that, we have it here yet. We haven't let it go because we are waiting for those patterns to be able to be printed because it's pretty extensive. All right, so I think that's all on my list for shop stuff. Jess, did I miss anything? No? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have some of that stuff, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the projects, yeah. So we have some things to talk about, but um, let's uh, let's show what we – we're pretty excited about having our block, summer blocks of the week done. So this is called Wildflower Garden, and Kathy has done a scrappy version, and I have done kind of a modern contemporary version. So let's – Let's show yours first. This is the reveal before they can go off to be quilted. And we did delay, again, with our copier issues. This one will be going out soon. That last borders, the last two borders, top and bottom. So those have not shipped yet either. Maybe your, maybe this version has, but I know my version has not yet. All right. Ready to reveal? Yes. yes. All your hard work. All right. So... Um, look at how beautiful this is. All the leaves are three different shades. The flowers are all different colors. And what do you think? You got anything to say about this after stitching? It, it was fun. It was a lot of fun yeah. and got a little tired of leaves, but it, it works and it really looks great. And, and once it's all together, it's just perfect. Yeah. And, you know, after you've had it done for a week or two, then it's okay to look at it again, but. Oh yeah. Yeah. After, after I got done, I was like, okay, no leaves in anything for a while. Yeah, yeah. You, you're a little tired of doing that same thing over and over again. But uh, guess what? It looks fabulous when it's all done. So those of you who are making this, Kathy's going to be able to take hers back now and get it quilted. So you'll get some ideas on how we quilted. And then mine gets to go to Linda to be quilted as well. So let's do this one here. All right, so same quilt, just different colorways. And again, I have the black leaves, which is all just the same black, nothing um, different here. But what's fun about this is it's very, I think it's very beginner. And then if you want to stretch your wings and do knots and stuff around that, you can and do some extra embellishing like 
stem stitching around shapes even after you blanket stitch them. So this can be very basic. You just blanket stitch or you can add some embellishing with some bullion knots or some extra stitching. But we can't wait to see these quilted. I wish I had thought of chain stitching some of my greens up here so the people on mine that haven't done it yet, add that to your list. Okay, then do you, some you chain just stitching. Stem. I just did stem stitching. So when uh, when we do this, you know, Kathy's a little bit more uh, faster than, I don't want to say faster, but she has more time to do it <laughs> where I'm just trying to sneak it in through all the other things. So so I give her the pattern. I'm like, okay, but I don't, don't think I, all, I follow my own pattern because sometimes I change things. So this was just a straight line on the pattern. So you can chain stitch that for the scrappy version, like she said, or you can just stem stitch, whatever you want to do. But there will be a, a couple That's little so differences between our quilts. I know that I have different flowers, I think, than you do right. on the bottom. Once they get the border pattern, they can really just move, yeah, the, you can do move whatever the you want. flowers around however they want to. Yeah. But no big deal. Should've do whatever you want. But yeah, your initials are all on there. And again, you can put on yours whatever you want. Okay, so I didn't say a word about the freebie yet. So that will be next. So Luke just brought it over here. He just pulled it right off the long arm and we have a new pattern and it is, you can see it on the back here. What is it? It is a one inch cross hatch. So look what it did to the quilt. So here is your finishing for the freebies. Now the freebies, when you do a block of the week with us or you come into the shop at each week, you get a block. So there were 12 blocks and then, then there's a finishing kit and you can do whatever you want with your 12 blocks or you can order our finishing kit. We don't have this figured out yet. Like I said, hot off the, hot off the long arm and we will get these numbers for you. But I just wanted to give you a, uh, a, a quick glance at it because I know a lot of you are asking about in the group if there's a finishing kit for our freebie. So here it is. And uh, I just love doing this in my crazy life. So that's why I brought it back again. And it turned out wonderfully. So look for those kits as well coming up. Now we have a couple other things to talk about. I know somebody had some questions about, um, I did a all things pumpkin class and these were the two projects. So these are now up on our website. Um, this is that same size as the heart one that was in the wool box and the one um, there's a flag pattern too that this fits on a nice little stand that we have in the store. And then this one here. So this one is still viable yet until Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> right. Well, this one is past. So I know that, you know, you don't want to put your boo pillow out now, but guess what? You have all next, you have a whole year to stitch that and have it ready for next fall. So those are newly added to our website and then guess what happens pretty soon so i don't know the exact dates oh yes 18th through the 21st uh of november is our primitive christmas and you know that's our biggest event and i'm going to give you a sneak peek at one of the free patterns so santa and his buddy is one of the free patterns that you're going to get when you do a purchase on our website and there are three or four free patterns with a pin cushion kit that you also get with a purchase amount. And of course you'll be able to um, order kits, but um, I just wanted to give you a heads up to mark your calendar for this event because you wanna get your order in soon so we don't run out of <laughs> this particular flannel and have to put a different one in your kit, but that's kind of how it goes. But we have a lot of that one, so hopefully we'll be good. All right, and then we also have Naughty and Nice on the schedule for that first week in December. I don't have dates on here, so. Oh, on the flyer. <laughs> right here, okay. So um, we have. 12, 6 to 12, 12. December 6th. Oh. Six through the 12th, so almost a whole week of hanging out here at the gathering. And we are gonna do one quilt and two wool projects that week. Plus you can bring your other stuff and sew on whatever you want if you have Christmas presents that you're making. And we will have a nice holiday themed event going on for that. And we'll make it your gift to yourself. Little time, 
before the holiday hustle and bustle, come hang out with us and have a good time because the last couple events here have just been amazing. So uh, I don't want to go home at night. I was here till 1130 last night and it was a blast. So anything else you have for me? Oh, my quilt. See, I knew there was yeah. something else. One okay. Thing before we get into that, can you explain when that's going to be available? So this is going to be available only the 18th through the 21st. So that Thursday through Sunday, this is the only time you can get this as a free pattern. All right. And it is with a purchase. So technically it's not free. You do have to purchase something to get it, but that's how we stay in business. Okay. <laughs> we, we give you free stuff, but you still have to spend some money because that's just how it goes. Right. Right. And is that, did I answer that good? All right. And you get that free pin cushion kit too. So, okay. All right. So this is going to be what a block of the month or a kit or what did we decide girls might end up being both. Okay. To be determined. So to be determined, but Kathy has finished this using Tula pink, mostly Tula pink, but a lot of other things too. Okay. All the pretty brights that are over there and in, in the store. Yes. So right Right out the door here is our store, and Kathy's made this Elizabeth Hartman pattern. What is right. the pattern it's called? It's called uh, Rainbow Rainforest. So my favorite is the armadillo right in the middle. Right. <laughs> I have the toucans pretty cool, too, though. Yeah. And, they, they all were. And what did you say about piecing this? You, you said... Elizabeth Hartman's patterns, I think people think they're a little intimidating, but they're very, really pretty easy to follow. They're all just squares and rectangles. You don't even cut any triangles. There's no paper piecing, no applique. It's just straight piecing. So, you know, they're, they're much more achievable than maybe people think. Yeah. One of the free patterns that you're going to get from me is a Santa block, like Santa head that I just, we just did yesterday. So it is fun to do those squares and rectangles. And most of them are like flip and sew, right? Right. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Flip and sew corners. So, so yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful job and full kit or block of the month. And maybe we can do some videos on some of that. Right. Yeah. Piecing one block. I know yeah. you did a couple of single blocks too, right? You had so much yeah. fun with them. Um, I haven't finished them, but yeah, I do. Yeah. But her patterns are very easy to follow. They're very clear instructions, lots of pictures. So um, they're great. I, I've done several of her patterns. Yeah. She's and, like the master at those yeah. animals mm -hmm. and critters. Yeah. Yeah, we 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 love just fun. We love her patterns and stuff. So okay, all right. That's it for me. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Okay, all right. So I'm just gonna sneak here a little bit. We're gonna come back in about a minute. We'll be right back with our guest today. <laughs> just like that all right we're back here with miss debbie all the way from texas yes how yes. was that drive from texas to it Wisconsin? was long <laughs> <laughs> well we appreciate you being uh, here i'm loving all right? it I'm yeah loving we are it. having yeah. a blast like yeah. i i don't even want to go home at night i want to be here till i want to be dipping in that, that 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 yeah that we, we've got 18 great women here and yes. they they are learning so much and, and seem like they're having a really good time. Yeah, so, they are yeah. super excited about yeah. it. And everybody's yeah. like, oh, my God. And everybody's cheering each other on and, <laughs> and everything that's come up. So we had one full day yesterday yeah. already. And today, yeah. yep, yeah. today they're, uh, I think yesterday we were like scared. <laughs> yesterday, we really went into the background of Indigo, where it comes from, how it works. And, and that's important. 
to know so you know what you're doing, what it's going to come out looking like. Right. Cause in I, a way. Yeah, because I'm yeah. familiar with dying, yeah. but, but it's, it's goes different. Totally different. It's different. Yeah. And then we got started on how to resist that dye and make all the, the wonderful patterns. And that's when everybody got excited. And they didn't want to stop when it was time to stop last no, night. No. And they were gung ho to go like, this morning. No break at all. We're just like, no five o'clock cutoff <laughs> for you, right? right? <laughs> and, and I had to make them stop for lunch today. So, but that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's, we. It yeah. is fun. Yeah, you just yeah. you just get drawn right. into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm trying to work a little bit in between. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm trying <laughs> to do some work. stuff. And, and every five minutes I get, I you know put some more stitches. I can't wait. To this show is you what be this really is going to be. Cool. Yes. Really cool. So you know yeah. I love stars. So these are stars. And these are, I'm stitching around the star three different times. And then this is what I think is going to happen. Uh -huh. So you tell yeah. me if okay. I'm right or wrong. Okay. So this is going to be like lighter blue. And then this is going to be white where my stitches are. And this is going to be dark blue. Yeah. It, and it depends. This will be white where the stitches are. And this will definitely be dark blue. We can leave this and it will come out dark blue. Or once you pull your stitching here, we can wrap that center part lightly, and then you'll have light blue and a little bit yeah. of white. And so, okay, so yeah, yeah you just don't you know. just yeah, right. and, it, and it's always a surprise, but it is. But it's fun to get the ladies stitching um, and doing other things, clamping and and. Um, Pole wrapping and oh, yeah. just so, all different ways. Yeah. So this was stitching. Yes. And then clamping. You want to see what you, all you what you can do with yes. just clamping. Yeah. Uh, they right. So I had job. three different <laughs> triangles. So one one was kind of like this. One was like that. And then one was I don't know whatever. Yeah. But I took forty five by forty five. So I made a square out of my fabric, and look what happened. I was like so excited. We got the, let's do it this way because okay. indigo has a right and a wrong side. All right. So, and isn't it amazing? The I can't stress how yeah. vibrant this yeah. blue yeah. is. So yeah. when we when we uh, set it to, uh, uh -huh. at the last day, uh -huh. will that when we will that be still this vibrant or will it some be, of it come out? It'll pretty much be this vibrant. Uh, we will do a, a vinegar bath in order to bring the pH back to neutral. And that will brighten the blues a little bit because there is um, lime in there wow. that's got it dulled down a little bit. And the vinegar will brighten the blue. And then it, when we get the final washing, it may be a little, a little lighter, but it's not going to all go away. It'll still be dark because she dipped it multiple times. Yes, four and times. That yes. makes a big difference. That's how yeah. dark blue, you know, yeah. the, from the, yeah. the outer edges got so dark blue. Yeah. yeah, and even though, you know, it's not precise perfect, but to me, that's what makes it cool is that it doesn't have that, to be yeah. perfect, right. that those imperfections make it much more unique. Well, you know, and it can't it be duplicated. Handmade yeah. and one of a kind. Yeah, it can't be and, duplicated. And also, when it's all finished out and ironed, you're going to see more of the little variations and nuances of the indigo in these lighter places. Mm -hmm. And that makes it more exciting. I cool. think. So. so I plan on hand quilting this big stitch yeah. with blues, yeah. you know, shades of yeah. blue. Yeah, it's going to yeah, be gorgeous. Cream. Yeah, it's going to be gorgeous. And then she's going to send it to me. Oh, yeah. sure. <laughs> well, if you need it, you can borrow it for a little while. But I was inspired by her piece up there that had that center medallion with the circles. But I, I like uh -huh. pointy points, and I don't really care for circle circles. I like points. So that's why yeah. I try to do my own thing, and it yeah. turned out. Fabulous. Oh, it did. It did. Right. So and show and us some of the other more. things. Okay, these are other things. All this, this piece of fabric is a one-yard piece, but it's just row after row after row of uh, basting-style straight stitch. And and But when you pull all that stitching tight, that's where you get all the different shades of blue. Is that what Penny's yeah. is going to look like with those one-inch stitches? Hers, hers will be a little bit different um, because... Well, these are about one inch. It'll be close. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then this one is also a stitched piece, and it's kind of like a sampler because we I started stitching just a straight line, and then at this point, I folded it on that line and stitched beside it, and then I got to where I folded with a pleat in the middle and stitched, and so you've got 
You got a sampler. Of, everything was just straight stitches, but the indigo does the work. So, yeah, it's just so yeah. cool what you can come up with. And this is another piece that is straight stitches, but I skipped over the area where the circles are. And so you end up with this gorgeous design. You drew that, that on was and just, just yeah, missed it. Yeah. So, and these are all the things I'm teaching the ladies um, to do. Yeah. And so she doesn't tell us what to do. She says, here's what you can yeah. do. Do what you like. Yeah. So that's what really cool. Because at first I thought we were all going to do like straight stitches. And then we're no, all, no. no. But I love yeah. the fact that we can yeah. just do whatever we yeah. want. Yeah. I kind of give guidelines. Right. And, and sometimes I'll stop somebody and say, wait a minute, I don't think that's going to be what you plan. Yeah. yeah, because you have to get in your mind what, how you're resisting the dye. But this is a big, uh, very sheer cotton shawl, but this was done with a slinky, which you have to take my class to know how to do it with a slinky. Yeah, we're not telling any of no, the big secrets, no. right? Yeah, and I actually let it sit, and I let the, the slinky rust and so we've got indigo and rust Perfect. in this. So that would be an awesome yeah. fabric line. Indigo oh, yeah. And rust. Yeah. We Just might, saying. I have to talk to Moda about yes. that. So. so speaking of Moda. Yes. Right. So this is pretty labor intensive to do this. I yes. mean, we have to dip, you know, yeah. four or five times. Yeah. And so you really appreciate all the work. Like, like this is going to take me, you know, a couple hours of stitching to get this just to, to, to die, to die. Right? Mm -hmm. you know but with your moda fabrics you've done all the work already yes, for yes. people because this was this was a stitched piece all of these were um and then i do all the the stitching the clamping everything i do the dyeing and i dip multiple times to get the deep dark blues and then i finish the fabric out totally i take my fabric to moda and they send my hand dyed fabric to the mill in Japan and they do and an they do awesome an unbelievable job, job of, re of reproducing. It. They do. So, it is yeah. so beautiful. So. And we have a little bit of it left in our yeah. store. We did make this kits for this new one that we just got in this week in honor of Debbie. This is her fabric. Um, and it's called the pattern is called stopping ground by whose pattern it is, you know, offhand Wendy Shepard. Yeah. Yeah. We all know Wendy Shepard. Okay, so this is so cool with those hand dyes. And this Toshi has gold, gold in it. And right? gray. And gray. And, gray. Right? Yeah. and then if you'd make this, of course, you have extra fabric. So Jerry, she put a couple rolls on the box. Isn't that cute? Yes. Yeah. And this is a panel that comes in the Toshi line that comes in gray and gold and the blue. And it's uh, five and three quarter inch squares of the different designs that I've done over the years. So you could cut those out yes, and, do and sash them yes, or yeah, do whatever, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that is cool. So. so we do have kits for this, a limited amount. So if you're interested in that, they are $115 with the pattern. And then the pattern only is $9. So um, again, limited number. We don't have, you know, 500 of them. We have a small handful of them, but uh, we wanted to... Uh, Show that off yeah. because your fabrics. Mix. Well, and, and that's an achievable pattern for yes. a, a Christmas gift for this year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that no. doesn't take long. So yeah. here's the beautiful kit and it's all packaged up like a present too. So maybe yeah. you have somebody who loves elephants or you have somebody that just loves hand dyed fabric, yes. even though it's really not hand dyed, but it yes. is. Well, it started out as hand dyed. That's I right. Mean, the work is that's there. Right. It's just, you don't have to do the work. Perfect. You can come and take a class. Then you can do the work. All right. So. Okay. Do we have any volunteers? Giveaways. Do we have any volunteers to show off their beautiful creations? <laughs> you can you can maybe uh, do a little drive by for us. Everybody's so shy. Nobody wants to come on camera. <laughs> they 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 they're like. <laughs> All right. We got, Who's we got getting this? We got okay, we've got a Tochi charm hat. Pat Straw House. That charm pack is yours. Remember to contact us at store at Primitive Gatherings with your physical address so we can get that out to you. Here, this is okay. Pat's. That's Pat. We, we don't do. want, yes. Look okay. Oh, look at this. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful she, silk scarf. Yeah, she has a little bit of the rust in there if you can yeah. kind of see that. We tried to get her some, get some rust. 
Yeah. That is so beautiful to yeah. wear. Yeah. And then every time you wear that, you'll be remember you <laughs> and all the work we had and all the fun we had. That's yeah, right. right. We're having a ball. Right. We are having all a ball. All right, Faith, what okay. do you have? Look at this. Oh, a mini medallion. Yeah, yeah turn it around. There you go. There you go. Isn't beautiful. it cute? Beautiful pillow. So we get a bunch of fabric and we can tear it as big or as small as we want. And I bet she she has a whole bunch of them by the time she leaves on on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and they're having so much fun. I think some of them are even going to stay over and do the Saturday class too. Look at that. That's I beautiful, Penny. This was yeah, a folded piece. Yeah, it was so folded. So this will still wet. continue to blue up. Yes, right? it will. So yeah. when it comes out of the vat, it's like green or Green. teal mm -hmm. and then as the air hits it it becomes bluer yeah so look at yeah. i learned you are so smart <laughs> i am so proud of you All come right. on girls <laughs> oh, oh we have another medallion yeah. beautiful so this is a washer right a washer uh, no a little, not a little oh it was a little, little circle yeah, little, okay oh yeah, yeah the, if it was a washer lives. it'd be yeah blue inside yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. takes me a while to catch yeah. on and this was folded yeah. and then uh a triangle was clamped on there Right? Yes. Okay. I got smart too. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh, don't we have some cute stuff? Very yeah. pretty. There. Now this one, this one's a little more um, intense and it doesn't always come out exactly like everybody wants, but she did a great job. That's beautiful. Because That's so these little circles here are hard to achieve all over. <laughs> you can tell that this yeah. is the top one. Yeah. Yeah. The darker ones yeah. are the top ones. Yeah. Yep. Good job. Yes. <laughs> Fabulous. So Denise, what do you ah, have? That was on the pole. What is wrapped on the pole? She's a pole, pole wrapper. The pole. Yeah. yeah. So what is this? That's you did the thread? That's the, that's the string that was wrapped around it. Oh, can yeah. you use this? Yeah. Or anything? Yeah. Right. Whenever you wrap on the pole, you wrap with um, with cotton string, and then when you take it off, you've got variegated dye cotton string that you can save. So can I take mm -hmm. some um, pearl cotton cream yes. and throw it in there yes. so I can yeah. quilt my okay. pen? Yes. Okay. Yes. And See? then it'll be it'll be variegated because yeah. the inside won't right. be as dark That's as the right. Oh, That's my right. God. You kind of squish it to work it down oh, in there a little okay. bit. Don't touch All right, couch. another one. This uh, is still damp. This is damp. Don't, don't, don't touch it. Don't touch the couch. couch. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just touching it. Not the or we'll have to be yeah. tie dyeing the whole coach. And this one is very elegant, very complicated looking, but it is very, very simple to do. Oh. So that that is something else. You come to the class and uh, next class we this have. Is wool. It. Yeah, that is, wool. and that's a wool scarf. It, was it 100 wool or was it the wool and silk? It's it's 100 percent wool. Okay, okay. The diamond pattern. Yeah. So it'll be nice and warm. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have right, any more? Miss Nancy. Yeah, oh, more. look at this. Oh, wow. This is so a how did you get two different patterns? Um, I folded it up like an accordion. And then at the very end, I folded it into a triangle and then put rubber bands on. Wow. And so she's got this gorgeous Bottom. end piece that when she's got it all wrapped, that's going to be gorgeous. Hang it out. So very beautiful. Excellent. Yeah. All right, Joe, what do you got? Got this one. Wow. That's cool. That <laughs> and see, she was there, worried a little earlier because this wasn't showing up a whole lot, but as it dries, that, that comes out. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. And when it's all ironed, then it's really, really mm -hmm. comes out. And then this one is the triangle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are doing such a good job. Yes. So, beautiful, beautiful yeah. stuff. Thank yeah. you for sharing. Uh, good stuff. Right, anybody else? Good. All right, girls, thank you so much for taking your time out of your class to do this. Yeah, we're interrupting class. I'm stealing their teacher, but hopefully not too much longer. Okay, next winner of Jelly Roll is uh, Bonnie Beck. This Jelly Roll is yours. Again, Kaylee, put up the primitive store at primitivegatherings.us. Send us your address. Okay. That's hers. Beautiful. When does your next line come out? Um February or later in the spring. So probably May. Probably May. <laughs> May. Yeah. Tochi was supposed to come out in April and it was almost August, I think, or into August. So, you know, it's just like everything else that's right. Going. And we're, we're yeah. not going to worry about it. You just, it is what it is. And, I mean, and when you get it, you're happy. Yeah. yeah you're happy. Yeah. Right. I'm still, yeah. I'm still waiting for urban, urban farmhouse two. Okay. <laughs> and that was supposed to come in in April and it's still on the yeah. bottom of the stack yeah. at the, in the, in the loading yeah. yard, I'm sure. But, um, but that's okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we got other things to work on. We don't only just have one thing. 
So uh, anything else that we have to talk about today, girls, or anything we did? Two more giveaways. All right, one more. Uh, let's give away the blue one. Oh, we might have you to give that, that to me. Here, you have <laughs> that one. All right. No, Green one. Gun being Sorry, you don't get the blue one now. <laughs> Debbie gets that one. I love it. I Joel love it. McFadden, this green bowl is yours. Please email us with your address. And then one more, a white one. Oh, these are so, who yes. likes these? Oh, uh, one of our local potters. Oh, they're gorgeous. Kathleen Champ, thread bowl for you as well. And, and these can be snippet bowls to put your threads in or your thread in and pulled through. So those are dual purpose. Yeah. Yeah. So that so one's good. yours. You get the blue one, girl. Yeah. These are great Christmas gifts. I just got All one. Right, so <laughs> it, so if they, if more people want to come take your class, will you ever come back to Wisconsin? Again? I will definitely come back to Wisconsin. All right, again. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. So thank you again uh, for thank coming you for on live oh, and it. tell, loving tell it. them where they can follow you all your social media stuff. Okay. You can follow me at Debbie underline Maddie on Instagram. Teori Designs, Debbie Maddie on Facebook. My website is debbiemaddie.com and it's D E B B I E M A D D Y. And all of my information is on all of those places. And, and I love it when you follow me on Instagram because I really post a lot about where I'm going, where that, I'm going to be. Preferred yeah, yeah, I love level. that. And then um, hopefully this next year I'll get better with my blog we all need to get better <laughs> but, with, our, with our social yeah, media yeah yeah so okay. but it, it's all good so okay yeah, yeah well uh yeah so i'm sure you're gonna have a lot more new people signing up yes for your that'd be good that'd social be good. media and yeah. follow debbie and when we nail her down on a date we will put that out there so you can come to wisconsin yeah and take some classes because i know some of these ladies are not most of these ladies are not local uh, we have some ladies from new york illinois where else girls Pennsylvania. So don't think you can't come here. The airport's 15 minutes down the road and very easily accessible. So thank you for joining us today and make sure you like our video yes. and subscribe and do all that kind of stuff. And we appreciate y'all. So we'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>